Hey, Genki Call here. The Pal World update version 0.2.0.6 has been released, and there is so much to go over. I know I'm going to forget things. I can go over and will go over all of the patch notes, but I'm just going to jump right in and show you some of the stuff in the game and then come back to the patch notes afterwards. So let's get to it. So we're going to stop, start with a new option that has been added. It's a global option. It's not, um, it's not specific to your profile, but you go under game settings, then you go under UI, damage display size. The devs are recommending that you reduce this because especially in the new raid boss, these numbers can be really overwhelming because there will be so many on the screen. And um, so they, they recommend that you turn that down. Now, as far as the tutorial, the tutorial is now called Journey and you can turn that off. You don't have to see the tutorial anymore. So if you don't wanna see it, you can turn it off. Okay, and let's, oh, uh, yes, apply. So we're gonna go into this game and I want to show you, I have Journey still turned on on this. I haven't been into this profile since the update hit. I want to show you how to automatically clear off some of these Journey tasks if you want to see them. And um, you already have a profile in place. And want to be sure that you get all of the Journey tasks done. La la la, now we wait. <laughs> all right, you can see there's a bunch of stuff coming over here uh, at the top right. And... Craft and equip the normal parachute, then hit the A button again while jumping. Watch what happens when I just, all I have to do is hit A and use it. And now things are going to start clearing off. One by one, everything's going to start clearing off. So that that is going to be, um, it, it'll clear that off for you so that um, you just have to wait. And then eventually it's going to stop. Now you see it stopped on build egg incubator. Of course I have an egg incubator. I've been breeding. I have lots of custom stuff in here. But there is a new incubator. So uh, let me go over that info. Hold on. All right. You can see here we have a new, where'd it go? Oh my goodness. Electric egg incubator. Incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature of to the optimum temperature for each egg. Super nice, we don't have to wor worry about the heating or cooling. I have that turned off because I just wanna have instant hatching because, you know, I'm impatient that way. But that brings me to the new items in the tech tree. So let's head over to the tech tree and I will show you the new stuff in here. There's so much new stuff. It's very exciting. So, dum -da dum dum scrolling down. We now have an ore mining site. You don't have to make your base at a place to have ore mining anymore. You don't have to have this huge area in the middle where they're they're mining ore all the time. Um, and just making it, I mean, look at how confusing this base is. There's just, there are stair, it stairs everywhere because I've got ore in the middle here, but we don't have to do that anymore. We now have this ore mining base and let me see. Dum -ba -dum -bum -ba. It costs you ancient tech points. There are quite a few of the new things that will cost you ancient tech points. So this costs two, doesn't cost very much to build. It costs 50 stone, 25 ingots and 20 paldium fragments. And you can build one of these. Oh, it's so exciting. There's so much new stuff. Now, we have the new Ring of Mercy. This will make it so that you cannot reduce the target's health below one when you have it equipped, which is perfect for if you're fighting a Lucky or something you really, really want to catch, like a Legendary, whatever it may be, something that you really, really want to catch. You can't kill them anymore. You can't accidentally kill them if you're wearing this. Uh, uh, your pals still might, but um, there is also a new pal passive that, let me get over here, the passive, let me find it, be right back. So it says right here, new passive, mercy hit, 
Pals with passive cannot reduce enemy HP below one when attacking, and that is the same with the Ring of Mercy. So if you are out lucky hunting, you're out legendary hunting, you can have the Pals and the Ring of Mercy. You won't accidentally kill what you're trying to, you know, catch. So super, super nice there. Next up, we have the Antique Dresser. Now, I swear we already had this, but it looks like they've moved it to be unlocked with ancient tech points. Let's go ahead and unlock it and see if this is new, but I swear this is not new. I swear this is something I already had, but let's find out. Oh no, the antique dresser. Okay, so this is new. This is not something that you decorate your, um, da -da -da. this isn't something that you decorate your base with. Let me show you what this is. This is so that you can change your appearance at any time. I'm just going to temporarily put it over here and dum -dum -dum -dum. where is it? New ore mining site. Oh, so exciting. It is probably here somewhere. It's probably here somewhere. Well, obviously it's here somewhere. Um, there's the antique dresser. Oh, it's actually, okay, so this is something that we had before, but now it's actually a usable ob object. Now we can actually build this and use it. It's not just decorative. Edit character appearance. Characters will be defenseless while editing. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and click this and I can change this. This is actually my Zoe character, but I don't have the mod on right now and I'm not going to change it because I like my, jo my Zoe character, but... Uh, Anyway, so that is super cool. All right, we'll take that out. Next up, let's see what we've got. Oops, tech, 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 tech. Tech is over here. What is next? Okie dokie. I've got some things. Uh, the Homeward Thundercloud transports you to the nearest base, cannot be used in dungeons and other similar locations. And it's going to require a Dazzy Cloud, which means there's a new drop. I hadn't actually read about that, so we're going to unlock that. Nice. And then we've got Ore Mining Site 2. Ooh. For producing large quantities of ore. Mmm. Okay, cool. We want that. We want all the things. The Summoning Altar. Now, this is where the biggest part of the update comes in, depending on your point of view. But we have the new Summoning Altar. This is going to allow us to bring in uh the new raid boss who is bella's noir bella noir i believe uh but let's finish going over the other updates here so we have the ability glasses this uh allows you to discern hidden pal abilities so it will, it will display health attack and defense stats on a scale of zero to 100 and uh ancient civilization core I'm not actually sure what that is, but we will find out. Let's unlock that. And then we have the electric egg incubator. Definitely need to have that. La, 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 la. Okay. And decal gun set. Don't care. All right. I think that is it, unless I've missed something over here. This is my secondary account. I don't have all of the things unlocked, but let's see. So, is it in the tech tree? Let's find out. Okay, other. Summoning altar. It doesn't take much. It will summon a powerful pal to your base. Adequate caution and battle, battle readiness is paramount, so you can bring this into your place anywhere you want. And since now I don't have to have this all is ore, I probably, oh, I can just, I'm just temporarily going to put it right here. So we're going to build this here. Oh, wow, that's fast. I love my pals. And you have to have slabs in order to activate it. So pal slabs. How do we get the pal slabs? I'm not actually sure yet, but we will find out. Um, Am I going to do that for this video? I'm not really sure. But let's continue with the rest of the PAL updates, the PAL world updates. Hold on a second. All right. I know that there are new items that we can purchase from, uh, I know for, sh for certain that there are some available at Dune Shelter. So we're going to head over to the merchants over here. 
and I will show you what we have at the Dune Shelter Merchant. Are they available at other merchants? I imagine that they are, but let's, uh, let's, I don't even know why I picked that up. I don't need it. I'm gonna go see the merchants because it's gonna be fun. Whee! All right, so we've got two merchants right here. Let's check them out. I already have them at my base, but um, we have this one doesn't have anything new. What about you? Okay, so here's the Ring of Mercy I was talking about earlier. I definitely have to have one of those. I, oh, 30,000 gold. That's pr You can see I have over 3 million gold. Go, go ahead and buy that. Then we have the heat resistant undershirt has been changed as has the thermal undershirt, but there is now a multi climate undershirt. So exciting. You can have one slot taken up instead of two uh, to keep yourself warm or cold. So definitely have to have that. All right. Now um, let's see what else we've got here. Can you see this? Uh, do I have this set? Yes, you do. You can see this. So I'm going to start reading the patch notes now. And um, every now and then I will interject and switch back into my game as needed. So you can summon the raid boss pals by using slabs at the new summoning altar. Right now there's just Bella Noir and her alternate... Um, there is an alternate, I know, because there are two Steam achievements that were just added. One for Bella Noir and one for mm, an alternate version of her. I can't remember the name right now. Raid boss pals summoned by slabs are very powerful and cannot be captured. Work alongside your base pals to take on these powerful foes. However, pal eggs can drop after defeating raid boss pals. That is super exciting. I cannot wait to see these new pal eggs. The extreme version of the raid boss is incredibly powerful and difficult to defeat. And this is why they say maybe turn down the size of the text, of the damage text, but we'll get to that in a minute. So new training manual items have been added. These manuals allow you to give experience points to pals. I hadn't read that part. New item, ancient technology, uh, technical map, manual has been added. This manual gives you ancient technology points and can be randomly found inside dungeon chests. We already had something like that, the ancient tech the manuals, but apparently there's a new kind. Uh, the new recovery meds items have been added. Use, using these meds will slowly recover your HP over time. So now we have a way to heal besides having uh, something with us that has lifesteal. A uh, new item, Homeward Thundercloud, has been added. When used, this item will instantly move you to your nearest base, but as I mentioned when I unlocked it, it can't transport you out of dungeons and such. The new item, Ability Glasses, have been added. When equipped, you can see PAL's stats. New stat boosting items have been added. The Power Fruit, the Life Fruit, the Stout Fruit. These items will boost PAL's stats when used. Uh, the new passive Mercy Hit um, means that they cannot reduce enemy HP below 1 when attacking, as I mentioned. As And for you, that's the Ring of Mercy, which I already went over. The new armor, Multi-Climate Undershirt, has been added. Protect yourself against both the heat and the cold with just one slot. New building, Electric Egg Incubator, has been added. This incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature of the optimum temperature... Er, to the optimum temperature for each egg. All right, the new building or mining site has been added, and there are two versions of that, as we uh, discovered. Doesn't mention that here, but two versions. Mining site allows you to produce ores from the comfort of your base. Fantastic. As for pals, the kelpsy can now produce pal fluids at the ranch. Dumud can now produce high quality pal oil at the ranch. You can now reduce the weight of metal ore when riding Serpent Terra. Increased amount of ore dropped when riding Astagon. Astagon was already amazing for, for mining. You can now raise PAL's rank to the maximum with a single th synthesis using the PAL ens Essence Condenser. I'm hoping we don't have to manually click every single thing, but we probably do. 
condensation progress is now accumulated in the individual PAL. Negative PAL status effects will now be resolved after spending some time in the PAL box, which is fantastic because I don't always want to go and make medicine or hunt down medicine on those rare occasions when my PALs get unhappy. So as far as the UI goes, when while aiming a spear, it will now display how many of the target PALs have already been captured. I do love that because sometimes I don't want to go into the PAL deck to see if I've caught 10 yet. You can now check the cooldowns on partner scales for all of your PALs on the main screen. Equipment and item stats are now visible on the tech screen even if you have not unlocked them first. The tutorial has been improved and named to Journey and you can show hide the journey in game options as I went over at the very beginning of this um, of this video. Damage number display size can be changed in game options. In raid boss battles the damage numbers tend to overlap a lot and it may be difficult to see so we recommend adjusting the size which I also did at the beginning of the video. Items dropped by players after death on a dedicated server can now be picked up by anyone after 24 hours of real time have passed. Added a new sleeping player emote. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably um, exit my game. Hold on. Let me go do that. Whoops. I forgot. Not sure how much uh, food my my bases have or anything so I didn't want anybody to starve all right uh, base related you can now allow disallow certain work for uh, base pals at the monitoring stand this is huge and I'm going to come back to this but this is super important uh, we'll come back to that in, in just as soon as I finish this paragraph chest filters have been added select the item types to allow or disallow inside chests which is also really important because when you have pals transporting stuff for you into your chests, you have them organized in a certain way and you don't want the pals messing up that organization. This is going to help you keep from getting those chests from having items you don't want in there. Crafted items are now transported from crafting facilities. Selecting allow transport when crafting will uh, result in pals transporting those items to chests when finished. You can now edit your ch uh, character's appearance at any time by using the antique dresser. And that's what I was confused about a little earlier. Uh, a little earlier. Building and placing, I'm sorry, building and building piece placement rules have been relaxed. You can now connect stairs facing upwards fantastic roof pieces can now directly connect to foundations i don't have to use a workaround to do that anymore which is also fantastic and triangular walls can now be connected to stairs that should have been allowed to begin with but i'm super happy that they added that in um, you can now force a pal to work and cancel their break by picking them up and throwing them towards a facility but of course pals recover their sanity when taking a break so you need to be careful with that and fixed assignments remain fixed even after bad events like a raid occur. Previously, some assignments would change due to certain conditions, but now they will remain fixed unless the PAL is placed inside the PAL box. And now we're going to head back into my game. La 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 la. Heading back in and I'm going to go into my main account here. And I'm going to show you uh, what they mean about the work stand. So I don't think I even have one. No, I, I built one at this base. Hold on. This is my primary account and my favorite base that we're in right now. Once we get there, la la la. Na, 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 na. Some of you don't like my singing, but that's okay. This is, uh, you know, you can skip over this part. Okay. Come on. Come on. Lots of people in the game right now, I'm sure. All right. I'm going to head up here. I put it, uh, I could have flown up there, but. It's more fun to run as we get to see some of the beautiful things along the way. Alrighty, so I put the work stand over here by the breeding facility. Here it is. So from here, you can set the work mode. You can have relaxed, normal, hard work, or super hard work. Of course, I want mine on normal. I don't want to overwork my pals. Uh, but there's also set work preferences. And here you can set them for each and every individual pal on your base. It's not by type, it is by the individual pal. So this one, I do I want him working on handiwork or mining? What do I want him to do? And I can select that here. So 
yeah, if you're going to have something attacking you, you probably want to leave these on regardless. But now we can we can choose, pick and choose what we want them to do. We can have each pal assigned to a specific task, whatever you want them to do. It's awesome. I love this so much. Ah, I could fill in this space now where I have all my ore with something else, but I, I kind of love this space the way it is. Anyway, let's head back into the update and read more stuff. Na, 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 eh? All right, next up, the balance adjustment. Minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armor. Nice. You will no longer need to take off your heat resistance armor when it's cold at night uh, in the starting area. Reduce the button press time in the egg incubator. That's nice. Change the pattern for Jormantide Ignis to something more unique. I'm not... Wait. I have a Jormantide on that base. Let's go Let's go see. Where is my Jormantide? There he is. So, do they mean the physical pattern on him? Or his movements? Or what do they mean? Because he doesn't look any different to me. Hello, Jormantide, my friend. Uh, that's the Ignis, this is the regular, and they look the same, just recolored to me. So I'm not sure what they mean by changing the pattern, um, unless they mean behavior-wise. So anyway, let's head back into the notes. Uh, nice to hit the right buttons, Colleen. Um, added legendary blueprints for some firearms dropped from specific enemies. So we're going to have to figure out who drops those schematics. That would be cool. Corrected the selling price of diamonds. I didn't realize there was something wrong with that. In single player, it is no longer possible to select the initial spawn point for multiplayer. If it's single player, what's that have to do with multiplayer? I don't really understand that part, but block the back of the starting area with rocks to prevent players from getting lost or stuck. I did get lost in the starting areas in the back there sometimes, and I never got um, stuck. Anyway, the increased attack power multiplier of partner skills that increase the player's attack power while riding has been uniformly reduced from 2.0 to 1.2. There have been a lot of videos about how incredibly powerful you can become when riding your pal and they have addressed that because it was broken. Eggs now have a small chance to produce alpha pals. Are you kidding me? That is so exciting because the Alpha Pals have strong, big, or better base stats. And it's really hard to get Alpha Pals with the perfect passives. So I love that. Love that. Flying and floating Pals are now immune to falling damage. That means, you know, our Pals always have been. If you're riding a Pal and you jump off a 200-foot cliff, you're not going to take any damage, right? However... This is to address the glitch with, for instance, Jet Dragon, where, you know, you bait him off a large cliff and he falls to his death. I'm sure that's what this is about. And there have been shop price adjustments. As far as bugs go, fix the bug where treasure chests would become empty when dying in a dungeon. Fix an issue where the effect that increases the player's attack power while riding was duplicating and accumulating under certain conditions. I'm sure that has to do with the Sui and the Sweepa. Could be wrong. Fix an issue where players were not receiving loot when capturing pals while mounted. Maybe that's what happened to me earlier today. Uh, adjusted the, the hit points of the legendary pal and fixed an issue where the difference in HP between the captured legendary pal and the bred legendary pal was too large. Uh, fixed an issue where the pal would eat while riding and fixed an issue where spheres thrown close to wild pals would not hit and be lost. This has happened to me so many times. I'm so glad they addressed this because I don't like losing legendary spheres because I'm standing too close. Oh. Oh, I'm glad they fixed that. Others improved various PAL models and textures, added and adjusted some sound effects, and many other minor bug fixes. Now, the dedicated server stuff doesn't apply to me, but of course, I've got to read that for those of you that do use a dedicated server. Fix an issue where sorting did not work in the server list. Improve the server list to allow page transitions. Dedicated servers now support various log outputs, 
implemented REST API, please check the test, uh, tech guide for details. And I'm going to give you a link to their post on Twitter. It's just a little easier to read on Discord than it is on Twitter, but I'll give you a link in the description below to the Twitter post so that you can read all this for yourself. Um, cheat prevents it, prevention fixed a vulnerability that allowed Steam account spoofing and seven other critical vulnerabilities. Glad they did that. Now, one new song has been added to the soundtrack, and if you purchase the soundtrack, please enjoy, update and enjoy the new song. But it can take a few days to update, it says. I don't know why, but we are planning a larger, more content-packed update for summer 2024. Enjoy the never-before scenery and thrilling adventures on a new island, home to many new pals. In addition, we plan to add a large amount of new content, including new buildings, weapons, and tower bosses. Thank you for your continued support of Pal World. So exciting. I'm so excited about all of these new things, and um, I hope that you are excited too. I would love to hear your thoughts on the update. I think it's fantastic, and I am so glad that they addressed all of these things before introducing new pals and new content that way. I know some people are going to be um, they're going to be disappointed. But I'm thrilled. Personally, I'm thrilled. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye!